Welcome to That Bad Dad. I'm your host, Daryl Coster. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're going to learn about how to tear down a chicken. I bought these chickens at uh, Walmart. They had them on really cheap. We're all trying to save money through food lately. So I was end up buying nine of them, and what I'll do is I'll tear them down into their bits and vacuum pack them so our family can get meals out of them. From nine chickens, we'll end up with uh, about 16 to 18 jars of stock, about four cups of schmaltz, which is the rendered chicken fat from the skin and the chicken themselves. And then we'll have many, many meals, depending on how we cook them. If we just make chicken breast, we will get a few. If we uh, make we drumsticks my son and I eat, the wings my son and I eat, We'll take the breasts a lot and make them into stews or we'll make them into curries, uh, which extends the meal by adding a can of beans and stuff to them. But it really helps. And knowing how to tear down a chicken is, is really very easy. So first thing I try and do is get rid of all the water and stuff out of the bird. I leave these fat pieces on, they don't matter. Cut down this both sides where the legs are. You'll see fat. Most things you're gonna see what we do today is along a fat line that we cut from. Um, there's a couple ways to do this. The way I do this that I find easiest is to break it there and then you can just cut it. It'll come right apart. Put that to the side. You have your breast here, two breasts, two wings. Look for your wings, look for that fat line there. Cut down it. See the fat line in there? And cut down there. The more you cut off the breast, the less you have to eat later on. Um, then your wings, same thing. You can see fat lines right in there, in there, and you're gonna go for the joints in those two spots. And they break down really easy. You just go one, same as this side, two. Now my son and I will eat these drum and flat. We'll eat these two. We will not eat the wing tip, it, uh, to us it goes in the stock. Makes good stock. You gotta do that two times per bird. Once again there. And then we have the two breasts. So I like to leave some of the skin on the breast because the skin on the breast for some meals makes sense. You get a better browning and you can use the skin. Um, but for the most part, we just throw that in with the browning when we do in the chicken stock. You have a line right down the breast here, which is where the breastbone is. Two different ways you can do this. Put your hand in there, be careful of your fingers, and just cut down the breastbone. Making sure you don't get any bones in there. Get as much as you can. That's your basic breast. So when you're buying boneless, skinless chicken breasts, you're actually paying about another eight to ten dollars a kilo more for that. Um, and taking off the skin is easy as just comes off, rips off easy. Once again, used for stock. This bird looks like it went through a bit of hell. It doesn't matter. We take those off, we use them for tent. These are chicken tenders. We we'll use those for chicken fingers at home. That's one breast. Second breast, same thing. Find the bone. Cut down the side like that. Cut from the front this time. No difference. Follow the breast bone. That's it. Now this breast here, this piece here, we'll take and we'll use for uh, in the chicken stock. We cook this off in the oven, brown it up uh, with no salt or pepper on it. Uh, that gets rid of all the smalls out of the skin, uh, which is basically rendered chicken fat once again. And we, all the chicken skin uh, uh, meat, the protein itself, will actually peel off once it's done cooking um, in the stock. And we can make sandwiches out of that. Uh, we can make uh, chicken salad out of it. We use it actually for quite a lot of things. We get full use out of the birds. Um, later on the bones, I'll actually break them up so I can get the marrow out into our soup because it just adds a complexity to the flavor. Once again, it's just a case of taking the bird, taking the skin off, um, and that's that. Now, I think these breasts were maybe, that's not ruined. I think that's caused by the vacuum packing process that uh, Maple Leaf did, which is kind of weird, but anyways, it's there. So that's the, once again, the tender. 
we'll take that out. We'll use that um, and the chicken. And what we have left is now the chicken thighs. Now these are the most, for most people, these are the ones that are most complicated. And they're a bit harder to trim. So a lot of people just cut down the center and they'll have two thighs and they'll cook them bone in, skin on, which is a fantastic way to cook them, especially on their barbecue. But we use uh, chicken bone, boneless skinless chicken thighs all the time. Um, they're great in stews and stuff. So what you're looking for in here is, see that fat in there again? You're gonna cut down there. I don't know, let's find it in the first go. There's a chicken leg, beautiful chicken leg. Same thing on this side, look for the fat, and your chicken leg again. So tearing down a chicken is very easy. It's not as time consuming as you may think. I have nine chicken chickens here, full chickens. And if I go full speed um, after years of doing this, I've been doing this since I was about 16, so it helps. Uh, I'll, I can do nine halves, or nine full birds in about 20 minutes. So it's not that long. Um, if you're doing, and if you're taking the bone and the skin off this, basically I cut down the back, right down the center, stick your finger in, peel the skin off. Once again, it's gonna go into the stock. Peel your skin off, trim some of the fat off if you can because this is stuff that we just don't eat in our meals generally, but it is very good for stock. Very good for using, okay? And in here, you have two medallions. This is where you wanna be careful. If you press down on the back, a piece of chicken in here, it's really sublime, okay? So you wanna get in there. You wanna be very careful of your fingers. You need a very sharp knife for this. You're, you're, your bone comes across here, you want to slice in there. In order to get the leg bone out, which is along here, you, uh, all I do is trim across here, cut across there, and then I stick my finger in and get it under the bone. And voila, that's done. Cut along here, there's a bone, there's a bone back here. Cut along that. And there is your chicken thigh that you would buy in a market. They're a bit more expensive, but easy to do, and they're fantastic for, as I said, things like stews and stocks, and uh, we use them a lot for curry chickens, and they do really cook up nice, and they taste better. They do have a lot of flavor. So once again, stick my finger around the bone, and then just cut. that and you can of course clean that up if you want to you can take it and you know scrape some of that fat off although we don't because we'll use it like it as I said it adds a lot of flavor to a, a meal but if you're conscious about that and just want less fat in your meal you take it off and start trimming it up and you can trim it up however you want to you can take as much as you want off or leave as much as you want on there just be careful of any bones like there's always there's a piece of cartilage right there not a big deal Take that off, and you're definitely going to want to add that to your soup, your stock. Cook off. And that's it. That's how you do chop up a breast or chop up, chop up a chicken for uh, stock and using the rest of the pieces. This will give my family and I easily in excess of a month's worth of food for around, well, these ones, because they were on sale, this will cost us. $70, it costs us $70 for nine chickens, and it'll take about, all told, about two hours of my time, but that includes cutting the stock, uh, cut, making the stock, cooking it, uh, canning it, getting it ready on a shelf. Um, it takes about, once you're done cooking, it takes 20 minutes in a pressure canner. If you don't have a pressure canner, you can freeze it. It'll be good for six months in the freezer. We never have chicken uh, stock for more than six months in our house. It just doesn't happen. Um, we are avid consumers of chicken. It's not the protein that I like, it's the protein that costs the least amount of money. Um, and protein is, in the end, pretty much the name of the game. You wanna make sure you have a sharp knife, a bony knife preferably, to be able to do this correctly. Chicken wing. Take the 
skin off. See, and this breast doesn't have any damage on it at all. Beautiful looking breast right there. Cut down one side. Beautiful breast. It's a nice looking breast. You can, get very, you can see you can get very close to the bone here without a problem. And it's just letting your knife follow the bone. And it might take one or two tries to be able to learn how to do this properly. But it's, it is well worth it. You, do, you will save just a tremendous amount of money as a family. Like for a family of four, that will easily um, do about four to six meals because you don't eat it. you don't have to eat as much chicken as you do in a meal you don't need a full breast you need uh, half a breast so that'll do all of us but we mix it up with chickpeas curry um, carrots stuff like that to extend the meal and we ended up getting about seven to eight meals out of a curry dish maybe more than that out of a curry dish the other that I had the other day and it only had two breasts in it um, and it was a good meal and eventually just learn where the bones are once you know where the bones are, everything becomes easy. And it only takes a few minutes. So as I said, the first few times you do this, it'll probably take you more time than you'd like. Once again, the, there's the chicken oyster, I like to call it in there, right in there. There, get it out because that is really a nice piece of chicken. Cut along that backbone. Go in. Cut along both legs. Sorry, my glasses were falling off. Cut along both legs. Pull. Put your finger in there. Pull. And you also, if you don't want to cut, if you don't want to use your finger, you can cut. Although your finger is easier by a long shot. Right. Once again, as I said, no real wasted chicken in this. We'll use it all. We'll get a $150, $200 worth of product out of this by the time we're all said and done. And uh, that's how you tear apart chicken, a couple breasts, a couple thighs, a couple of legs, and we'll save the legs up a lot of times for summertime so that my son and I can have them on the barbecue. Hard time finding that knuckle. That's it. Nice chicken. Now you get nine of these and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Uh, we do more. We'll be doing more videos on cooking as well um, as our three D printing stuff and our uh, laser engraving business. Thanks.